Oh, I, there's something else that we totally forgot to mention. This video is not recorded live. We're, we've decided oh, yeah, to just yeah. sit here and have a conversation, and then I'll just go in and edit some of the bullshit out, and then uh, and then we'll post it like it is. If it's good, it's good. If it sucks, whatever. No. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the liberal loudmouth. And as always, I'm here with the real Ron Ron is wherever the liberal loudmouth is at. What's going what's on, up? everybody? What's going on, Tim? Oh, not much, man. And you know, when we're together, we are the loudmouths. The okay. loud mouse. You need to go hit that subscribe button on that, son. Around and find out, as so That's many right. people have found out in Warner and in Owasso, they just find out wherever we go, don't they? Wherever we go. I'll tell you this. Uh, I got some I got some stuff to talk about today. I don't know if you know about, all about what I'm doing, but um, yeah, I'm hitting Gore, Warner. I'm going to Holbert. Have you ever heard of a town called Holbert? Yeah, f Speed Trap USA, man. Speed Trap USA. I'm going there Thursday night. Going to be live streaming from there Thursday night. Um, yeah, I got some. I got some stuff going on. Matter here, of fact, what's been going on with you? My first ticket was in Halbert. It's a. It, it was bad. I think they had a lawsuit against them, didn't they? Yeah, they. I think they were on like 2020 20 or 60 minutes or something for the. Yeah, for them being a speed trap. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I used to just live down the road from there. Yeah, so but, we're, gonna, we're we're having a problem. Some people reached out to myself and uh, my homegirl TPV. I can't. She doesn't like her name spoke out loud. Melissa like this, Remington. Whatever. Whatever. Tim. That's M E L I S S A. Like American. American gun, like the shotgun. Um, but they reached out to me and Melissa because they were having some problems with the rural water district number nine over there. Um, people were wanting some information and filed some open records requests. And they're like, uh, you have to do that through district 11. We don't do that here. It's always bullshit, isn't it? It's, it's always some kind bullshit. of bullshit. all, all the every, yeah. And it's just, there's so much more. And, I'll save it for the live, but it's uh Holbert Holbert's acting up and they uh they about to FAFO. Um tonight uh I'm going to the Warner Town Hall meeting where they're going to appoint hopefully my pick, uh Diana Hollis as a new town counselor for Warner, and then Gore is going to fire Gideon tonight. Oh sh really? So they're gonna vote him out, huh? Yeah, they decided to hold a special meeting. And, oh, and, uh, and for those that aren't aware, uh, Gideon is a, a council member, or what do they call him there, a board of trustee or uh, something? He, he's a trustee, duly elected board of trustee, certified right. by the state, election board, and uh, they're there's going a to dispute. Vote. There's a dispute, for those who aren't following that, there's a dispute about whether or not he actually lives in the city, in the city limits. He says right. he does. They let him run. He got elected. And then after he got elected, they're like, uh, you're not in the city limits. You can't and be, he's, he's, can't do that. He was elected April of 2023, Tim. And he sat until last, last month. See, See that's, that's, <laughs> that's messed up, man. That's messed it is. up. Yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah. You know what, you know what we should do, Ron, and maybe I'll add this huh. into the, into the recording or not. I don't know. We should bleep out all the curse words and charge on a Patreon like a dollar a month where they can see it uncensored. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because some people like, some people like, I mean, uh, of course, or, Dusty, Devers, Dusty Devers would pay for the extra. He wants the cuss words. Or, or we could record this and then do, you know, have these little things that aren't going to make it into the final cut. But the people that pay the dollar a month or whatever, uh, they get to see it's just the whole thing. The unedited version. Right. Just post the whole thing. Like behind yeah, the, the scenes. Shit, type the, the shit that we don't want the FBI to see. Right. Or, you know, we could charge two, three dollars a month. See, you know, that's your entrepreneurship coming out. I would have never right? thought about that, but that might actually work. Yeah. Like if you want to see us uncensored. And behind the scenes, subscribe. Yeah. yeah. 
I like okay. that. Yeah. Do it live. All right, we'll we can talk about live. it. Anyway, so all right, let's go back to Gideon. Okay, so you were saying that Gideon is is going to get kicked out tonight. Yeah, they're going to no tonight. They I made a post saying I was going to be there on February twentieth, which was the ne- next regular meeting for the town of Gore, because that's when they were going to vote him out. But they decided to move it to tonight, where I had already double booked Warner's town meeting. And they knew that I wasn't going to be able to be there. Is my I'm I'm very important. I'm very egotistical. I think it's it all about you, Ron. It's all about <laughs> me. This is my world. Y'all just living in it. So who anyway, cares about Gideon? It's about yeah. the Ron Ron. So they decided to do it tonight at 6 p.m. Warner starts at 5 30. There's no way possible. But here's the thing: Gore's town meetings are already live streamed. Oh shit. even the special ones. I don't know about the special ones, but maybe, I don't know, because I found out today following the Gore page and everything that, that it is live streamed. I guess they, they do do the, they do do, they do the, do, uh, do. the live. You said do do. I did say do do. <laughs> That's going they into the, the unedited uh, version. Do do. You said do do. <laughs> they do the, uh, the special meetings as well, I guess. So they're going to vote to remove him as Ward 5. And they've already vacated his seat. So then they're also on the agenda. They're going to appoint somebody because that's their, that's their rightful law. Wow. Way to- you know, this, this sounds like some Christy Gillespie, Deborah Wimpy sh- that they would do. Oh, hundred percent. We've seen this game played before. Haven't we? Apps uh, over and over and over by several different politicians or campaign teams mm. or, when are you going to drop your video about Christy Gillespie? Uh, I don't know. Why are you I hesitant about that? I just, I don't know that it'll make a difference. I, I think it's like Trump. This, this dude could, could literally rape somebody in front of them and they'd be like, ah, it's AI. I just saw a post from uh, some group. I can't remember the name of the group. A bunch of ladies. It was a ladies group, but they were like, they formed a new group called Women for Trump here in Oklahoma, here in Tulsa. And Women like, supporting what is, rapists. What is no? What is going on? I mean, and these Christian people that are like Trump's going to save America. Here's the thing: oh I God. like Trump. I voted for Trump because of his policies, his business-minded sense. I think he was good for the the economy and this and that. You said do do. I know that we disagree on this. But when you talk about Christian values or women, the dude was like, grab them by the and, and right. um, I, can't, I can't stand saying that word. But he's he's told people to punch people. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. He's walking out like big high fives, smiling, laughing, like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. And cussed on stage and you and this. Right. But people, people are like, you cuss too much. And the same people that tell me I cuss too much are the same people that are voting for this some that's on stage saying, fuck you. We've even gotten these complaints that we curse too much. But then, like, you hold that standard for two dumbasses that have a YouTube show or a Facebook show, right. yet you'll elect somebody president who's way f-ing worse? Make it make sense. Make it make sense is what I'm saying. But... We're getting off track. What were we, we are, talking we are, we are, about? What we you- drank beer. We like beer. Uh, Dusty Devers. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of Christians and this, you know, do as we say, not as we do, double standard type of thing. Uh, Dusty Devers. What do you think of that dude? Man, what do I, what? Uh, there's not much. That, I mean, he cuts his own hair. He has his wife make his sandwiches. Um, he wants to abolish. I think today was abolitionist day for abortion at the state capitol. If you missed that meeting, we're sorry. Um, so gosh, weird. This dude is so bad. And I think from talking, we talked to different politicians at the state state level quite a bit, different ones. But I think he's fixing to get his uh, his little <laughs> spanked. Who's that? Dusty Devers. Dusty. Yeah. You don't. Oh, you, don't you come mean in here and run some. Sh- you don't come in here and run some shit. Right. Yeah, he's getting a little little big for his britches. 
let's let's pull up some videos of dusty how about yeah. we do that let me see and we've been doing dusty since what october september october something like that ron and i have been warning everybody about dusty devers since before dusty devers got elected uh back here, when me... he was back when he was in the primary not even back, the, yeah. the republican nominee yet yeah Back when he was just a crazy dude. Now he's not just a crazy dude. He's the crazy dude. And an Oklahoma senator. The son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Let's sing the mighty fortress is our God. Amen. Hallelujah. The mighty fortress oh. Oh my God! All right, so let's let's look at this Jimmy Fallon clip. Let's see what he's got to say. We'll get this a senator in Oklahoma named Dusty Devers has introduced a bill that would make it illegal to sex anyone other than your spouse. It's kind of weird. And the statement was even weirder. First, he said, "Please don't sex anyone unless it's my spouse." Eggplant emoji. Then he said. Oops, that was a mistake, eggplant emoji. Ah, sorry again, that was a real boner on my part. Like a mistake boner, not a boner boner. OMG, I can't stop saying boner. Get it together, Dusty Devers. And finally he said, wait, I just realized that my name sounds like a porn name, which is ridiculous. If I had a porn name, it'd be the name of the first dog in the street I grew up on. My dog's name was Dusty, and I lived on 32 Devers Street, so my porn name would be Dusty Devers. Oh, fudge! And someone take his phone. Take his phone away. So you're less than a couple of months into your Senate term that you were just elected to, I guess, whatever. And you're already making national headlines for being a poor name, religious zealot. Oh, oh gosh. I can think of only one reason a man would strike out impotency as a reason for divorce. Kind of makes you wonder. The strike through means that it once was something divorce could be granted over, but in Dusty Deaver's world, she can't. There's only one reason I can think a man would strike that out. Right here it is. Impotency. Sorry about you, bro. Yeah, I mean, he does have a bunch of kids, but a couple of them don't look like... Uh, no, they the, sure don't. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> uh, point to the thing that doesn't belong. <laughs> right, yeah. Aren't nah. his kids homeschooled? He's a homeschooler too, right? From the looks of it, I imagine so. No, they I, look I like think that. I can, with great confidence, say that he is. He, his kids are homeschooled. So this reminds me of the Duggar family, and we we saw how that worked out, right? Well, and if you don't know who the Duggars are, um, it was what the they were like Mormons. Something like that. They may have been like LDS or I, I don't know, probably yeah. Mormons. No, uh, but yeah, very restricted life. The kids weren't allowed to be kids, you know. Um, and this doesn't apply to all families that are homeschooled or anything, but humans are going to be humans, whether they're raised in that kind of situation or not. There is a biological imperative for men and women to have sex and to do things like that. And if you continually restrict somebody from doing that or say that you can't look at that or you can't, you got to feel shame for that. Well, then they're going to feel shame for things that, that shouldn't be shameful, like just having sex in general. So they're going to end up, well, if I feel shameful about it anyway, why not ditto my sisters or right. this, that, and the other? I mean, what do you think? Don't you think humans are just nasty critters? Nasty critters. I think you, uh, somebody, I, I, I know that you said that to somebody on a post today. Who was that you said that to? I don't remember, but I, I'm like, look, if throughout all of history, I mean, these are detailed in pictures. I mean, it's all, you know, they even write, wrote porn in, on cave drawings. So it's right. not like Thousands. this is some new thing. Right. There, Thousands of years ago. 
yeah having sexual needs or sexual even some deviancy is part of being human it's it's primal it's built into us that's the, the whole purpose right. we're here is to procreate right there is a, a so, biological imperative for men to stick their penises into women's vaginas or in some cases into manginas true that's yeah uh, um here's the thing that that made me uncomfortable because i've, I've <laughs> I'm sticking, I'm, my mangina I'm not, I'm not sticking anything to a mangina did he just say mangina i'm dusty Debers, and i like to get in that mangina the <laughs> sniff at the end is the best it's like the Donald Trump sniff. Do you want to touch my balloon knot? <laughs> He's like, it's okay to sext as long as it's with your spouse. Right. <laughs> Which is true. The bill actually does, does say that. How does that make sense, though? It's still pornographic material it's going because- across the internet. It's because Dusty Devers likes his sexting. God, I wish I could see his browser history. Oh, I we need to we need to get a GoFundMe to have people dig up all those (laughs) to sign on to that bill. Find all their (laughs) anybody on Twitter that's supporting him. Find that porn. Find that porn, GoFundMe. Not to switch gears, but you saw where that Western Heights principal, the drag queen dude, he resigned. Yeah, I saw that. Let me let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. God, that, that pissed me off. I went hard in the pain on that one. That pissed me off. Right. If they only they, knew the shit that I did in my bedroom, I would they wouldn't even fucking listen to me. And Ryan that? even put out a poll asking people. That's so weird. It's sickening. I think it's actually like almost defaming the dude. It's public shaming for sure. It should be a damn hate crime. Right. It's it, I'm saying it like goes right up to it. Yeah, you're you're literally like on somebody just because of because they what dress up like a girl? Their lifestyle. That's their right. lifestyle. They're an American. They can have their lifestyle. As long as he's not going into the public schools dressed as a drag queen and talking about sexuality with kids, leave him the f- alone. Right here. Oh, there it Shane is. Shane Murphy, yeah. drag queen principal in an Oklahoma elementary school, has resigned. Now, this is a this is a guy who does drag in his off time. And you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, I really don't give a sh- what you do in your off time. Uh, but apparently, if you if you dress up like this and do drag shows, you're not allowed to teach. I guess. Here's the th- here's my opinion on this. I'm not about that. I've been to the Majestic in Tulsa. I've been to drag shows. I have. It's not my thing. Like once or twice. Um, I don't have a problem if I knew that my my kid's teacher was a drag queen on the weekends. He enjoyed it. He loved it. Whatever. I don't give a as long as he's not coming to school. I'll tell you this. I've said this before. We were at the Tulsa GOP County convention when I was running for Tulsa County GOP. Tim was there with me. um, And I, I heard this man come up to Tim and he said, you're the one that got the pornography removed from schools. And he said, but you're, you're an atheist. How can you, how, why would you want pornography moved if you're an atheist? And I'm like, God, that was so offensive, right? You can't have morals unless you believe a certain way. Yeah. It it, it was like shocking to this guy that I was an atheist and didn't think the kids should be shown pornographic images at school. I don't know, man. That it, it, It was really, really weird when that guy said that. I and heard I was, it. I can. I know who the dude was too, and I'm not going to call him out. But he was very serious. He thought, he "How was. in the hell does an atheist have a moral compass, but doesn't right. believe in God?" 
And how do you live 60, 70 years, however old that guy was? How do you live that long and not realize that you don't need a book to tell you what's right and what's wrong, or what's moral or immoral? Right. There are decent people in this world that don't even know religion, but they're just kind and they're polite and they just care about their fellow human beings and they raise children right to be respectful and love one another. And I just, it really bothers me that the people that are preaching don't judge lest they be judged. They are the most judgmental people on earth. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. said. They really are. And, and, you know, you see the priest diddling kids, you see the, and the, you know, going on for years. And then you, you even find instances where the child was being molested by a priest. The parent found out about it, but because the parent didn't want the church to look bad, right? The parent told the kid to shut up and just kept going to church. They protected the church and the religion and right. that book. Over of their this own innocent kid. child. Gross. That is gross. That is just take one to the temple on that one. And when your brain can shut down like that and just stop functioning entirely over religion, it allows all of these fake Christians to come in there and pretend that they're Christian so that you think they're a good person, and then they come in there and do whatever they want to you because you're not thinking properly. Right. And I want to say, teach your kids what you want to believe, but don't follow a false prophet that you know is a false prophet, like Dusty Devers. Donald Come Trump. On now. Donald Trump. The Messiah. I want to ask Dusty Devers why he needed to go out and get, what well, it's almost 50 states now, right? Contributions from 50 states. Yeah. If God all- provides for you, why are you having to reach out and get other people's money? And do you think but, that campaign funds from other states are are is he allowed to use that? I I think so. I don't think there's any cap on who can send you money in a state, but I I will say a law needs to be passed where if you're running for a state office, money from outside the state should not be allowed into the state. I agree. That I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, because then you get national issues dictating representatives for local politics, and that's just wrong. That's just wrong because then you get people that are they're they're more worried about the national their national stature, so they pander to these national organizations that don't care about the local stuff. And we ran into this a few years ago where we had several candidates at the state level that were getting dark money, but on both sides of the aisle, dark money from like Maryland and Washington, DC and places like this. And we're like, what the, what, where's the, why, why are they worried about Oklahoma? Right. And that's a problem. That's a problem. Well, it's, I think it's a national strategy for both parties to try and take over local governments, because if you control the governorships, you basically control the board of governors which does a lot of different things like they, you know, they're the ones that appoint the, uh, Oh, LaJoy, that <laughs> loser piece of <laughs> and, Who's and then LaJoy? no, explain that. Who's the joy. The joy. I think his name is, he's the postmaster general. Oh, that's who Lewis, Lewis, the joy. Right. But you know, and the, Trump is the one that nominated the guy in the board right, of governors, right. but, but he's a guy who, who, uh, like either owns a bunch of stock in or runs uh, another like logistics company that would compete. Wasn't with- he like, wasn't he like ran out or had to go before Congress and testify about why he did this or that, or I I'm thought, pretty sure he, was- he went before Congress, but he didn't get run out that he'd have to get voted out. Biden can't even get rid of him because it's the really? board of governor. Yeah. Oh. And he, you know, so he's like, that's why people are still getting mail that's like two weeks behind in some places. He's do he did it on purpose because he's trying to compete. In my opinion, he's trying to push the USPS into a private organization so that private, you know FedEx yeah. and uh, XPL Logistics or XPO Logistics, whatever it is that he's part of, so that they can you know take take over that part. You know they try to get their hands into all your money. They want all your money. One of the 
one of the things that my uh, college professor in history said that I will remember until the day I die is that the government, people think that the government is so powerful because they, they have the military and stuff. But we all know that the number one employer in the United States is the United States Postal Service. They, yeah. they, they're the, they're the most secure, and they pay uh, well. They pay well, and they're the strongest employee of Americans in our nation. And if that shut down today, our yeah. nation would like cease to exist. Well, look at look at things like FedEx, where they drive around those those big brown trucks. They don't have any air conditioning. You got some of them dying of heat stroke every summertime. That's what private industry does. That's what private industry does. They cut corners. They try to save money where they shouldn't, even to the detriment of their own employees. They've they've been doing it for years. I mean, hell, yeah. look at uh, what was that guy that that did that expose of the meat market? Uh, he wrote that book, uh, basically showcasing to everybody the nasty, disgusting <laughs> that the that the butchering industry a, or the meat. It wasn't industry, like. Rivera was it no 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 this was back this was long long time ago this has been oh, early you're talking about Teddy, yeah you're talking about Teddy Roosevelt's guy uh I don't know who the president was at the time but I in any other time I'd remember the guy's name but you know he set the stand he basically for the FDA came because of that this this is why I said Teddy because the FDA came out under Teddy Roosevelt's administration because he served his cabinet members meet from this guy that had went in and did the report and he was serving a mistake. And he's like, um, here you go. Enjoy your lunch. We're here to discuss FDA stuff and or senators or somebody congressman. And he's like, last night that meat had maggots on it. Yeah, so Upton Sinclair was his name. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, the, the FDA was created as a result of this because it was so nasty. And that, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the free market, oh, the, the markets will write themselves. No, they will do shit like that. Look, they will. Look, it's about money. Opiates. It's about money. Look at opiates. How many people did they kill? pushing these opiates oh, and lying to doctors millions. and right. And they pay and they, they made billions and the fines that they paid don't even mean that they lose money on that product. They still made a ton of money off of that product, even if they paid all these fines. So the, the deterrent isn't as there as you think it is, you know, like if you can make $2 billion, and then pay a half a billion dollar fine. You've still made, you know, one and a half billion dollars. Yeah. You're still making and, out. All right. Yeah. And vaccines. You can't even sue. You can't even sue. Yeah. You're yeah. I know the COVID shots. The only immunity that was given from COVID shots were from the manufacturers. <laughs> didn't keep you from getting COVID. Didn't keep you from spreading COVID. It just gave you, you know, blood clots and autoimmune disorders. I don't even know how we got off talking about this shit anyway. What else we got? Uh, so Donald Trump, the Court of Appeals, told him that he has no presidential immunity for the actions he took. Um, I did hear that. To, yeah, and with the elector scheme and all that crap that he was doing. So he'll have to then appeal it to the Supreme Court. Um, by Monday, I believe they said, what do you think the Supreme Court will say about Trump's arguments that he has presidential immunity from all of that. The United States Supreme Court? Right. That he put three different individuals on there? Yeah, I think they're going to say he's he's immune. You think they'll you think they'll do that? I mean, cuz the consequences of that would mean that Joe Biden could ignore everything that the Supreme Court says. I uh, think Clarence he, Thomas. He, I think Clarence Thomas is a a rogue Trump Trumper for life. I think Kavanaugh is too. Bought and paid for for sure. Uh, Kavanaugh's oh. right there with him. I don't know about Comey Barrett. Um, 
And Roberts, I don't think I think Roberts is a stand up guy. Uh, what's the other one? Gorsuch, he's kind of iffy. I like beer. Was that like was that beer. Gorsuch or was that uh, no, Kavanaugh? That was Kavanaugh. No, that was Kavanaugh. That was Kavanaugh. <laughs> I like beer. I like beer. I like beer. Yes, we drank beer. I liked beer. Still like beer. Sometimes probably had too many beers, and sometimes other people had too many beers. What we drank you? beer. We liked beer. Beer, the beer, beer, beers, beer, some beers. Beers with friends. I liked beer. I still like beer. Beer, beer, beer in high school. Drinking beer, which I gladly do and which I fully embrace. I drank beer with my friends. Sometimes I had too many beers. Beer. Oh my God. I, I, I love that, but um, I don't, I don't think they'll, I think they'll overturn that. I do. I gotta, I gotta run to Warner, but um, Gideon Miller just sent me a text and said, "We're posting a video here shortly. You need to see the town of Gore tried to pull a fast one on the agenda and revise it without reposting it. Can they do that? No, no. Any revisions may- have to be made before the time that they would post it. Right. So he's saying that they revised it without reposting it." So there may be some, there may be a violation here. We'll have to see what happens tonight. Well, we'll see, I guess. Do you have anything else? Cause I'll probably cut most I, of it. <laughs> no, it's going to be a good. I think it's going to be good. God, I, this might be a, the thing we do, Tim, just come on here and just talk. And then we can just publish all of it on one side and bleep it out on the other. All right, everybody. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, we're going to probably do more of these recordings and edit them and post them later. If you like that, let us know. That's right. America, we'll talk to y'all later. All right. Peace. You want to touch my balloon knot? You said doo-doo. I did.